One, two, ready, go. I remember the first time I heard of WFD, I was a freshman in high school. My dad found out about the dermometer, something that registers how many single strokes you can do in a minute. So we bought this thermometer, and within two days, I broke a 1,000. And that's a very elite club. Ah, 1032. Hey. Hey. So who's the drummer? Me. Okay. Scott Taylor. Okay, you, you rolling, Scotty? Yes, sir. If I'm being introduced to someone I don't know, they will introduce me as the world's fastest drummer. Can you Just talk as fast as you drum? That's the question. <laughs> That's what I need to know, dude. Yeah, yeah. I went to the World Finals back in 07, won that. Are you in Guinness Book of World Records for this? Yes, sir, yeah. Can I hear something? And right now, this drumming competition is taking place at the Atlanta Institute of Music and Media. My dad's a this trombonist, and my granddad's a trombonist, so, I mean, jazz has always been in the house. Everyone's first impression always is, oh, world's fastest drummer, man, you must be in the fastest heavy metal, you know, Actually, I, I listen to Miles Davis and Thelonious Monk. People are very shocked when they hear that. And then you gotta, and then you gotta add a triple. Fill. This is the first time, actually, ever that we've had the three top tier guys just referee in one competition. The world will remember my name, but not for all the gigs I've done. They'll remember it because I shockwave with the world. Whew. There you go.